When we have a simultaneous decrease in demand and a decrease in supply, the equilibrium quantity will decrease. However, the effect on the equilibrium price is unsure. Let me show you. We start with the diagram of the market. Demand and supply. We have equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Now we have a decrease in demand. In other words, a leftward shift of the demand curve, say to D1. At the same time, there is a decrease in supply, say to S1. What will happen? Well, we started here at this equilibrium posi position and we move to a new equilibrium position at Q1. There is a decrease in equilibrium quantity. In this instance, the price level decreased to P1. So what we see, we had a large decrease in demand accompanied by a smaller decrease in supply. Quantity, uh, equilibrium quantity decreased as well as equilibrium price. But what will happen if the opposite is true? In other words, if the shift in supply, the decrease in supply, is bigger than the decrease in demand. Let's see. Again, we start with a picture of a market. Demand and supply. We have equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. A decrease in demand, shown by a leftward shift of the demand curve, accompanied by a decrease in supply. In this instance, equilibrium quantity decreases to, say, Q1. There is a decrease in equilibrium quantity. And the effect on equilibrium price? Well, equilibrium price increase to P1. So we see, if the decrease in supply is bigger than the decrease in demand, equilibrium quantity decrease, but the price increases if the decrease in demand is bigger than the decrease in supply, we have a decrease in equilibrium price.